Hi, my name is Sarah Berkeley, and I'm the Manager of Wellbeing and Engagement for the Northeast Region at NFP. Welcome to our Big Questions video series where NFP employees such as myself are asking subject matter experts some top of mind questions about what's going on in the workplace and with employees today with this different and complex environment that we are all living and working in. Today I'm interviewing Kate Ryder, who is the founder and CEO of Maven, a leading digital health company with the largest telemedicine network for women's and family health care. Maven was recognized as Fast Company's number one most innovative company in health in 2020. Kate, would you like to introduce yourself and give a little bit of background? Hi, sure. Thanks so much for having us today. Um, so I'm Kate Ryder. Uh, I founded Maven six years ago, noticing major gaps in the way that women and families got uh, health care and benefits um, when they went through this huge life transformation of starting and growing a family. And so over the last six years, my team and I have built a, a platform to cover all paths to parenthood, including adoption, surrogacy, fertility, uh, pregnancy, all the way through parenting and pediatrics. So we have digital programs to support everyone. And I think right now during the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, you know, our, our telehealth is a core feature of our program. And so um, I think you know, a lot of our, our clients and a lot of our newer clients are, are quite uh, happy that, um, that uh, you know, they have access to these virtual services. Great, thanks Kate. The topic of women's family and maternal health is of particular interest to me since, as you might be able to tell, I'm 38 weeks pregnant with my first child, um, so it's very personal to me. Um, so let's just get into the first question. What are we learning from this COVID-19 experience and what should employers consider as it relates to women's and family health? Yeah, so I think the COVID-19 experience has dramatically shifted not only how we're all experiencing work right now, but also how we're experiencing healthcare. And so, you know, I think one of the first, the first components of that is a lot of these virtual benefits, particularly around telehealth, um, are not only here to stay, but they're going to be an integral part of healthcare moving forward. Specifically, um, you know, what we're seeing is that maternity care and pediatrics are parts of routine health care where you're often going in monthly or quarterly or every year, uh, you know, to get care. And, and that's been very, very disrupted um, during this time. And so, you know, I think in general, a lot of, a, a lot of both employees um, are struggling to be productive and there's a rising anxiety um, in, in these populations because, you know, particularly for pregnancy, pregnant women are high risk right now. Um, and so, you know, supporting these, these, these employees, you know, is, is incredibly important. We've seen uh, over a 300% spike in mental health appointments on Maven, specifically for our pregnant patients. Um, and I think in general, just thinking about, you know, as much as I think we all wish that COVID-19 would go away in two weeks, um, that really it's, it's this, this new environment is here to stay and, um, you know, at least for uh, many, many months, if not years. And so, as um, you know, as we come out of it, uh, you know, things like telehealth and virtual healthcare um, are going to be, you know, that much more integral. And so I think investing in benefits that are helping this, um, you know, helping your employees get instant access to healthcare during times when it's so disrupted is, is incredibly important. Two, a lot of employers don't realize the complexities and nuances of the paths to parenthood that many of their employees may be experiencing. And so, you know, particularly for fertility patients who may be going through IVF, uh, or considering going through fertility, you know, right now a lot of those patients are very anxious around when they can go back into treatment. You know, not getting COVID mid-cycle, and so um, and so I think you know just in general, uh, you know, a lot of those um, those those nuances in those populations are a, a lot of them are experiencing anxieties that they're afraid to talk to their HR teams about. And then same with you know um, uh, families, particularly LGBTQ families that you know, maybe adopting or, or going through surrogacy, um, you know, that, that too is, um, you know, it's, it's a time right now that's really trying uh, for many, many families trying to figure this out. I mean, starting a family, once, once, a, once someone's decided to do it, it, it just becomes one of those important things they focus on and do. And so making sure that everyone has all of the appropriate support to get, uh, you know, on whatever path to parenthood, pathway to parenthood they're on. So I think that's, you know, number two. And then number three is, um, you know, I think mental health support has never been more critical, particularly for pregnant employees and postpartum, but also for parents. And so I think, you know, thinking about how, how integral mental health is to a big transformation in your life, such as 
starting a family and then managing a young family during this pandemic or managing any family, quite frankly. And so I think virtual mental health support um, is, is really important to make sure that it's embedded in all of your benefits. And, you know, mental health, there's not one size fits all for that. So on our end, I mean, we cover maternal mental health and pediatric mental health. So we're very specialized in those two areas. We have parent coaches, career coaches. And so just making sure for employers that your mental health needs are covering the specific mental health that people are looking for and isn't just a one size fits all approach because I think that, um, you know, that, that, that doesn't often lead to the best outcomes. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You make a lot of good points. And there are a lot of extra concerns going on right now that normally, you know, probably wouldn't be an issue. But so thank you for that. Um, the second question and the last question. Uh, so I know from personal experience, this is a crazy time to be pregnant with doctors appointments being canceled, classes I was supposed to take also canceled. So it's difficult to get education and guidance that normally you would. So given what we're learning, how can employers support their employees that are currently expecting in this environment? Yeah, I, I mean, I think, uh, you know, offering access uh, to a lot of these services that you're talking about that are disrupted. So you know, I, I can just say uh, on Maven, I mean, I don't make to make, mean to make this a Maven commercial, but uh, we, we do have the largest telemedicine network in women's and family health uh, with access to over 20 specialties. So, you know, for people who are seeing their prenatal appointments get canceled or delayed, for people who are experiencing um, different birth plans that they never imagined, for people who have a lot of anxiety around going into labor in a hospital where, you know, your doctor is going to be wearing a mask and you maybe have to be wearing a mask to, you know, leaving the hospital earlier, particularly for, for uh, women who have get C-sections, you know, you're, you're probably not going to sit around in the hospital for a while. They're going to shuffle you out. Um, so then, you know, it, caring for your infant at home, um, you know, I think telehealth is exactly what is just so critical right now. Um, and, and recognizing, you know, very specialized telehealth. So telehealth with OBs and pediatricians and pediatric occupational therapists and lactation consultants and mental health providers and physical therapists. I mean, our, the reason we have 20 specialists in our model is that, it, you know, we've seen in one week a postpartum new mom could use 10 different specialties, um, you know, both for herself and for the infant. And so I think, um, I think you know, what we're seeing uh, is that employers are rushing to, um, you know, roll out a benefit. We have a, a six-month COVID maternity program that any employers can roll out just to kind of support through these needs as the healthcare system kind of stabilizes and, you know, people can be going back into their doctors and resuming a normal life. Um, at least because, you know, we are, obviously we're a kind of a wrapper to all the care someone's getting in person. We're increasingly doing all of the care right now, but still, I mean, we're hoping that people are going to go back into their six week um, postpartum visit in person, um, but we can, you know, but that was support along the way. Great. Thank you. Kate, thanks so much for your time today on our Big Questions video series. And to everyone watching, we're so happy to have you here. Please visit NFP's latest insights website for more information about COVID-19 as it relates to employers in the workforce. Stay healthy, and we hope to see you back soon. Thanks.